Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. Being it a week of love, I have chosen a couple of love oracle decks. So we're going to get two overall energies and go from there. I'd like you to use your common sense with this reading. It may not resonate with you. It may or it may not. We're going to get one more and see what comes up. This is intended to be a love reading for people that are typically struggling in their love relationships. Those are typically who the readings are for. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This can even mean forgiving yourself. Okay? The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. And this is really about forgiving and learning. When you truly forgive, it's about love. The only thing that is real is love. Whatever you're going through, you have the ability to fix it through love. Sorry, I had to hit pause because I had a sneeze coming. I'm not sure if you got it or not, but I tried to hit pause quick enough. Um, anyway, forgiving and learning. It's about healing the past through love. This is what this is about. I feel like many of you have been through a period of stagnation, no forward movement. Things are on hold right now. And you know, it's really, the worst is over. So what has ever, whatever has happened, it's over. And now it's time for uh, liberation, perhaps. It's time for you to get excited about the future. Okay, I know that you guys have been stuck in a predicament, but I think it's really a time for a new start, all right? The worst is truly over, and, and you learn from it. You learn from it, and it doesn't mean that the love isn't in the future, because it is, all right? Jeez, the cards are just a jump in. Good fortune, good luck is on the way, Virgo. This tells me that you're about to have a change of course. Um, it's like good luck is coming your way, a lucky break perhaps. I feel like, you know, like, on a, and this is also a card of purpose, okay? Everything that has happened, happened for a reason because part, one of life's major lessons that we all have to learn is to forgive, okay? That's a major life lesson, okay? So whatever has happened that has left you feeling defeated or feeling, um, betrayed even it's over now now all you have to do is forgive and learn to love again because I know that you don't want to grow old alone and you have these fears of growing old alone and this is the card of Virgo okay it's the hermit card many of you are going through a midlife crisis right now you have this fear of being let down because you've been let down in the past in love and now it's time to forgive that loss yes it was a loss and yes it taught you something you certainly learned from it but now it's time to think about the future in love okay shift your focus from the problem back to love whatever this problem is whatever this crisis midlife crisis whatever it is that you've been going through happened for a reason okay because it was getting you ready it was getting you ready for the right one all right this this lack of forward movement was needed so that you could reflect on what you want who you are do some soul searching okay
You can't live in denial forever, okay? It's time to accept the truth, all right? There's no need to um, deny your feelings, all right? There's not. There's been some kind of disruption or there's going to be a disruption that changes your course, okay? There's some kind of disruption that changes your course. It's like you reach this crossroads and, and you have to go. You do. There's like some kind of blessing in disguise that really brings you a lot of good luck, okay? And, you know, I think it's a reward time. Your hard work pays off. You guys have really, de you deserve this. It's time, okay? You've been in crisis mode, I can see. I can see that you guys have been stuck. You've been, there's been like no forward movement. And now, you know, your hard work on... Your soul searching is is really paying off whether you think it is or not. It's really time for you to accept the truth that something is really over. And you've been trying to not do that. You've been procrastinating, procrastinating. You know it's over, but you really haven't been taking action. You know something is over. I mean, that's what I see. But the thing is, is you don't you don't want to face the disruption, the upheaval that comes with this ending that is happening or has happened, you know, but I see that it's really time for you to be open, to look at things from a new perspective, to really be assertive, okay? It's time for you to be assertive so that you can find the love that you're looking for. Okay, because it feels like right now you're not in love with wherever you're at. Okay, you're not. Wherever you're at, there's not love. Okay, and, and you, you're you staying there because you don't want to grow old alone. I don't want to grow old alone, so I'm going to stay put. But, you know, mm -hmm. you may be financially secure there, but it doesn't fulfill your wishes and love. And this, so this is why you're being called to be objective, to speak up for yourself. Stop living in denial. Be open-minded. Be assertive. Otherwise, you're not going to be in love. It's time for you to come out of this darkness and see the light. You know that it is, Virgo. It is. It's time. It's time to end this difficulty in your life. There's a completion here that has happened or is very much desired that somebody is just pushing down the feelings. They're denying it, denying it because they don't want a disruption. There's a change of course that's right in front of you and many of you are going to go down the new road and some of you are, don't dare to go down the road because what if I make the wrong, make the wrong decision and I end up growing old alone? There's lack of forward movement. You're blocking, you're blocking your desires from coming to fruition. It's time for you to make a conscious change, don't you think? I mean, it is. You guys, it's time to free yourself. It's like you're at a moment of collapsing. It's like I'm ready to collapse. You guys are so close to making this change. You want it deeply, deeply, deeply within yourself. And that's why this, where this card comes out. The only thing that is real is love. Is this, are you looking for real love? Are you? That's the question here. Are you looking for real love? Or are you looking to please everybody but yourself? There's a lot of passion. There's, you know, you're being offered this gift from God. Okay, you're being offered this gift from above for new growth, a new partnership with a lot of passion. You're being offered uh, fertility, renewal, excitement.
but you're detached from it. You're detached from this new relationship that could come right into your life because you've lost your your dreams. You you you're you're not acting on them. You're not fulfilling your own dreams. You're just letting your dreams die. Your dreams of romance are just being flushed right down the toilet. When you know that you deserve more, you deserve more. It's time for you to take action, have confidence, have courage, have strength, and focus on you, yourself. It's really time for you to focus on yourself. It's time for you to use the force within you to head in the directions of your dreams. So that you can have the ultimate happiness in a relationship. You're deceiving yourself. You're robbing yourself of your permanent love by staying in this situation that you're not in love with. You're robbing yourself from happily ever after by staying in a situation that you are not in love with. It's time for you to stop holding on. It's time for you to stop clinging to the financial security of this situation. Because you're not moving forward. That's for damn sure. Going backwards. And you have new doors opening in front of you. But you need to become alive again. Okay? You need to light that fire within that's been put out. You need to take action. Because there's a new door opening with somebody that you know. Now this can be somebody from the past or it can be somebody from a past life. And this does not have to be somebody you dated. This could be somebody from your childhood. I feel like there's a new door that is ready to be swung open, but you have to take action. If you keep laying dormant in the situation that you're not happy in, and you keep blocking this from happening, eventually it's going to go away, okay? Eventually this door is going to close. And then there'll be no excitement. It's time for you to use the powers within to shed the past so that your divine connection, your divine love can manifest and come into your life. <laughs> These are both shedding the past, both of them. Releasing the past, both of them. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for your awakening. This is also a card of forgiveness. Forgive yourself and others. Just forgive. Forgive and forgive, forgive, forgive. You know what? When you follow your dreams, it brings the ultimate happiness. It really does. So I think for many of you, there's a secret that you've been keeping inside of you that needs to come out.
<laughs> Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. <laughs> See, I hadn't looked at that card again. You experience more love in the present moment. Release the past, Virgo. Release it. You want to. All it takes is strength, which is reversed. Where's your strength? Where is it? It's in there. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. What matters more than anything in this whole world? Love. When you act out of love, everything will be forgiven. It will be. You have to shed the past. The past is not your future. It's not. With the magician and the judgment card right next to each other, those are both releasing the past. Again, releasing the past. It's not coming back. It's never going to come back. It's over. It's time for you to wake up. That's what I have, Virgo. Talk to you later.